All right, well, it's a redo mission. Specifically, we're gonna be doing Operation Free Mission Two again because I want to guys like you know want you to awesome or like uh, you know a couple more of those Jargamex basically from you know um, the enemy there. All right, so first things first, I'm not done basically using like the 640x480 screen here, and that's because you guys got really lucky. When I basically did this mission the first time, Operation Free Mission Two, I was able to basically do it with like you know the 1600 by 900 pixel without crashing, but since then, I've been experiencing lots of crashes, so I basically dropped down the resolution so it doesn't crash anymore. Mostly so I can get this done. Anyhow, we're gonna basically be, um, you know, trying to get those mechs. I didn't really get, you know, more than like you know, a couple of mechs last time. I basically got like a light mech as well as like, you know, one of the jacker mechs, but I want more than that. So here we go once more. And. I'm not by the way, I'm just going to put these guys all in like, you know, group 1 here. Um, note that basically for like these guys' loadouts, I basically switch these guys to have lots and lots of like little weapons like lasers and like SRM missiles and pulse lasers. Something I note about this game by the way is they have like low damaging weapons, you have a much higher chance base of salvaging mechs. Um, basically what happens is like, you know, as far as weapons, you'll basically hit like the cockpits of like the pilots a lot more often. And that can basically result in like, you know, you can basically killing the pilot and, you know, not killing the mech. And essentially, like, you know, all these guys basically have, like, you know, uh, like, lasers, SRMs, pulse lasers, etc. Notice, well, by the way, I've also put, like, you know, catches in the Mad Cat, just so, like, you know, she can have, like, a bit more, you know, chance to basically kill stuff, because this has more powerful, like, weapons than, like, the Catapult. I figure, like, this can be, you know, like, you know, fiddling around the Catapult for now, so that's fine. Alright, let's get to it. Once more into the breach. Commencing deployment. Now, I'll note that since I'm going basically for like a salvaging run, I'm not really going to play this game like, you know, this mission as properly as I did before. So, we're just going to send these guys, you know, these guys up here. Which is a little bit different from what I did last time, but whatever. Not that different. You're going to cross the hill while these guys basically go over here. Now, I'll note that over here is the others, basically, you get, you know, you basically get attacked by initially in the mission, so... Basically, when, like, you know, I had to pack and, like, had to just, like, you know, always basically, like, you know, join the fray after, like, the, we attacked the cougars. We're just gonna deal with them first, and then the cougars will basically be, like, dealt with after. Let's we'll get everyone down here, and I'll get them in position to attack. And, you know, because I feel like it, we're just going to put this down initially right here. Have the camera drone to start doing its work. Oof, screen flashes all over the place. Whatever. Let's get to this. We're going to send the Atlas first so you can absorb the damage. Here we go. There's a new sensor contact. Falcon, incoming fire. This shuttle sits on. Yes, sir. That missile bird. This is Falcon. Sir, there's a new sensor contact. I got the crew is basically coming to join the fray. Excellent, sir. This is Falcon. Incoming fire. Excellent, sir. Excellent, sir. Reporting that destroyed. Oop, I think we hit a core. Or two. Well, we didn't get those others, but oh well. Like these guys. They're only light max, but I still want to, like, you know, use proper taxes to take them on. Now, not by the way, Falcon's taking a beating here, but you know, Prima can handle like a little bit of it being like this, so it's fine. Reach the 
should not be a problem. Incoming fire. I have essentially everything on this mech except for like, you know, what I need to. Excellent, sir. Very good, sir. Order, sir. Fine, hit this guy. We blew up. Alright, well, there's our first bit of salvage. You got a cougar. Um, it's not ideal that basically she got so beat up based on these guys, but at the same time. Well, whatever. We're just going to attack them like, directly, so to speak, is what I'm doing. So, here we go. As I said. Reporting new contact. Now, note last time we basically cut the power to the base. I'm not doing it this time. I'm essentially just going to drag these guys away and, like, you know, attack it directly, so to speak. Got it, sir. They're coming after me. Beast here. Uh oh. New contact. Oh. Got it, sir. This is coming too, so let's just get his attention. Now vehicles like to press their advantage and like go after you, so these guys are pushing to basically fish them off. Pressing the attack. As ordered, sir. There's a new sensor contact. Reporting new contact. Check it out, sir. Reporting vehicle destroyed. There we go. Now at this point I want to try and pull up the mech, so. We're gonna hit this guy. Beast, what are you doing? I'll do what I can. I'm getting shot at. Beast here, heads up. I've got a new contact. Okay, guys, attention. There's a new sensor. These guys should be very prone to basically come and attack me now, so. Come to me! Let's do it. I'm in their sight, sir. There goes the vehicle. This is counter. Enemy vehicle destroyed. Now, I notice they like to back up toward the base because you know they don't want to see it, you know, oh, caught out here. There was that one. Alright, at this point, you guys are just going to charge in. And if he's other way from the turrets, we're just going to use this, like, you know, Mac hat to run around and pick it off, so. Come on, get down there. I'm in their sight, sir. Executing your order. Reporting building captured. That's one of my bad things about attacking the base directly like this. You take a lot of damage doing it, so. Here, I am of it's not really ideal. Got it, sir. Reporting building captured. Incoming fire. Excellent, sir. This is the beam. Another one bites the dust. As ordered, sir. Found it, sir. I am under attack. I will send directed fire. Executing your order. The shuttle gets lost. Immediately, sir. Incoming fire. Get that. Yes, Get this. Reporting building capture. Executing your order. Reporting building captured. Found it, sir. I am under attack. Excellent, sir. This is Falcon. Yes, there's a mech everywhere. As ordered, sir. Executing. All right, so that results a lot better than before. Basically, got like you know, at least a couple more of the light mechs this time around. So this is like a really quick way of basically doing this mission. Just you know, directly attack the base, so to speak. Got it, sir. 
Enemy component. It's not really a deal though because you risk like, the chance like losing weapons or um, have your pods get injured as you see with Falcon here quite a bit. But so far I haven't lost any weapons and only like Falcon got injured so I guess that's fine. Yeah, I want to be able to sen sense these guys as they're coming, so let's get the sensors towers online. Executing your order. Excellent, sir. We're gonna go there. Got the sensors tower now, so that's nice. Reporting refit complete. Reporting refit completed. I guess my camera down drone is down at this point, so oh well. Sir. Let's get you over here. Now, I'm not the deer, deer for like, you know, this part of the mission. We're basically gonna have these guys ambushed at the gate here. And basically, like, you know, um, take them apart with like, you know, little piddly weapons like, you know, pulse lasers and such. Basically, like, you know, maximize their chance of like taking like, you know, the pilot alive. I keep demo hitting the you know the window unfortunately, but whatever. That's the thing about these small window resolutions, by the way. It's like very likely that I'm going to be clicking outside the window all the time, but oh well. She's lost a little bit of combat effective since so she lost a little bit of health, but you know she's still pretty combat effective. There's Petrov showing up. Now, no problem if I want to speed these guys up a little bit. It's very easy to do. We just have to drop an airstrike on them. And yeah, note that these guys, by the way, they don't really have anything for like firing over walls and stuff, so. As long as I basically like close in real close to them, I've got the advantage for like in, in like lasers and such. So they won't prove out much of a you know they really don't think they take on. Let's put this right here. We'll hopefully get four of them all at once. Now this will get them running because they've been attacked. So here we go. Here they come. Now, I'm not that the goal here is basically trying to at least get like a couple of these guys. If I get the awesome, great, but really just want to get like, you know, a couple of the Jargon Max, because, you know, just getting one and like, you know, half damage, like completely like, you know, um, wrecked for the most part, wasn't really like to my liking, so. We'll see how this basically goes. They're raising weapons! And they're charging in! Attacking from this position. Here we go! All the lasers fire at once. Even with a small amount of weapons like this, they're gonna get pulverized. These guys. So pulverize them. And I know I'm not trying to like, you know, necessarily kill these guys. It's like lower their combat effectiveness for most part right now. That guy jumped away apparently. Ooh, we fired off his ERPCs. Here, from this position. They're coming after me. This is Falcon. Incoming fire. Enemy max destroyed. There was that one. Let's try and get some headshots here now. Now that's the thing about these weapons, by the way, if you have like you know lots of like small weapons hit on the pilot's cockpit, eventually it'll take them out. 
And that's basically what makes these like weapons not really like to salvage people, is because you know Um you can essentially like, you know, hit the cockpit multiple times and like hit everything else. It'll spread out the damage and like, you know, not have like the big like, you know, um gauge rifle like punch a hole right through their, their like, you know, the hole so to speak. Basically it's like a death by a thousand cuts type of thing. You don't really kill a body so much as you know, this guy has a pain and like, you know, kill him that way. Or was that one? Mission objective. All right, so that result makes me a lot more happy. So that's like an easy way, of basically, like, you know, doing this mission without, like, you know, um, essentially, like, you know, um, just like going through it, I guess, the right way. Just like get up real close, smash them a bits with like you know small little weapons, and then you can salvage them a lot easier. Now, on the way, the only problem with doing it this way, like, you know, is attacking the base directly and, like, you know, using small weapons. You basically raise the chance of these guys getting injured. And as you can see, like, you know, Kynes took a hit here, Falcon took a hit. Wasn't exactly ideal for them, so to speak. But, at the same time, I don't think I lost any weapons, so... They're gonna sit out some time, that's fine. You're gonna go up there. I can't find a way through here. Hope you're already fully repaired, I guess. Got it, sir. Excellent, sir. Repair. Refit complete. complete. Repair. Reporting complete. refit completed. Very good, sir. This is good you up here. And yeah, I noticed like the combat effectiveness and stuff is going really, really down far because, you know, they can take a lot of damage by the way when you do this, by the way, so... Repair. Complete. I might have two mech repair base, but they're going to take a lot of damage doing this, so... That's something to watch out for. Now, this might seem odd, but... We're just going to try and find a little bit of experience for these guys now. I'm just going to take out all the pop-up first over here. Go take out, like, the mobile guys over there. Lots of fun to be had, so to speak. No, this is probably not a bright idea what I'm doing here, but you know, whatever, it's what I'm going to do anyways. Let's get up in a sail and see what's on over here. And of course, the Mad Cat's just like, you know, flying over the place, because you know. I love that the Mad Cat is pretty much overpowered. It's got fast speed, it's got heavy armor, it's got super weapons. This thing is like the most powerful mech in the game, I think. It's not like, the, you know, necessarily like the most powerful, quote unquote, but it's the most balanced, and that's what makes it the most, like, you know, the best mech. It's everyone's favorite mech, the Mad Cat. There's a reason it's not, you know, the, the cover for Battletech, by the way. Now, unlike before, I don't have any, like, ranged weapons for these guys, so I basically have to, like, you know, pump them, like, real close to these to take them out. These pop-up turrets, so that'll be fun. And by the way, I don't really care if it actually exists, in case you know. They know we're here! There we go, kill that. They didn't take any damage from that, which is interesting, but... Not really, you know, unexpected, really. Now, I think about attacking a small turret, there's like a high chance of, like, you know, you take a cop hit, hits, so... That's really where you could have trouble again, but whatever. Falcon, get down here. Never just fall after. Reporting. 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 Reporting.
spotting new contacts. Very good, sir. This is Falcon, sir. There's a new center contact. Garib here. We seem to have a new trace. Incoming fire. Excellent, sir. Excellent. 400 damage. Take him out. Garib here. We seem to have a new trace. Reporting new contact. Got it, sir. A little scared to take these guys out over here by himself. Excellent, sir. There was that by himself. Excellent, sir. They must be locked on this guy over here, so. As ordered, sir. Good for me. Let's get some free kills for Scarab here. He certainly needs them. Whoa! Now I gotta worry about this guy. Back up, back up! I am taking Harrison fire. Airstrike inbound. Excellent, sir. I'm getting shot at. Enemy vehicle destroyed. As ordered, sir. Excellent, sir. I was like, that's the first airstrike, so. I am receiving direct fire. Uh oh, new contact. He's here. I'm getting shot at. This is counting. Reporting vehicle destroyed. Reporting vehicle destroyed. Beast here. That last salvo banged me up. I think the Moe is getting away. Not that I care, I mean, you don't have to catch him always use the thing, right? So, if it gets away, it gets away. But yeah, it's like, you know, replay of the mission. Really showing, like, you know, a different way of playing it. Sort of like backwards compared to how I played it the first time. As ordered, sir. Enemy components captured. captured. Just so I feel like we're gonna send you down here. You guys go over here. Reporting new contact. Yeah, it's not that hard to find this guy. Counters here. Reporting vehicle captured. The thing about that mobile excuse that falls the roads, so if you know where the roads are, then it's not a really a big deal following it, so. It doesn't do me any good basic capturing it, but whatever. Now, I'll note at this point, these guys took a lot of damage, so I'm just going to repair them up yet again so you don't have to do repair costs, and then... Well, after that, it's just the next mission. But why not? Let's keep watching it, so why not? Let's do that. Now, let's get over here and repair yourself. Proceeding as ordered. Repair complete. Reporting refit complete. That was easy enough to do. Geez, you're gonna get over here and repair your gas. Sir, this way is blocked. I'll do what I can. Repair. Refit complete. They're probably just regaining our missiles, by the way, when we're like, you know, I throw them in like the, you know, fully health like this, but whatever. He's damaged. Repair. Reporting refit completed. Very good, sir. I assume Falcon took some hits too. Sir. 
Excellent, sir. The yeah, I'm using any missiles here because I'm not sure if those cost anything to, you know, replenish, so... Mission and there we go. Immediately, sir. So, I'm happy with this result. Essentially, I got several mechs now. Commendation for low drop weight. And look at that. Veteran. Veteran. He's still regular, but whatever. And that's the sweet loop base to make use of. I got, like, you know, an armor mech variant. We got, like, weapon mech. We also still got the J variant. We still got the Ulrich, we got the weapons Ulrich, we got a Cougar. That's a great outcome for this mission. And next time we'll be destroying a convoy, so that'll be fun. But I will basically, like, you know, save you, basically see me, like, you know, re you know, reshuffle these guys around and do that, so. I'll see you next time. For now, we're gonna save this as mission free setup. Hope you guys enjoyed, and take care.